It's the Weekend Sounds Jersey, and I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We're going to break it all down for you here, and then some. We're going to talk about not one, but two coastal storms next week, including one that could bring some snow in the middle of next week. Let's take a look at our outdoor dining forecast first, though. Three stars all around, and I use the same standards no matter if it's December, October, or July. So, yes, it is going to be very comfortable for mid-December standards here for some outdoor dining, and it'll be a great weekend to support some of our fine eating establishments here that we have in southeastern New Jersey. High temperatures at Atlantic City International Airport was at 57 degrees. That's 10 degrees above average, about 10 degrees shy of our record sunset was at 435 this afternoon. For this evening, it's a mild evening here, as we were saying before with our outdoor dining forecast. And that's because of this southerly wind, which is pumping in some more tropical air into our area here. So temperatures is very slowly falling this evening. Overnight, when you have the clouds that are gonna build in, it's really going to limit that cooling. So I don't even think we budge much after midnight. So mid 40s on the mainland it is. Low 50s over at the shore. We'll have some areas of fog around. And then as we go into Saturday morning, some showers will be present here. This this is 10 a.m., 1 p.m., and now 4 p.m. You see those showers during the early part of the morning here between, well, nothing if you're in Bridgeton or Vineland, up to a tenth of an inch of rain if you're along the shore. So we do have those showers to start out with, but it's not even a washout during the morning. Again, the further inland you are, if you're in western Cumberland County, you're probably going to be dry here. Then as we go into the afternoon, it's cloudy, it's balmy, it's also foggy too, especially along the shore. High temperatures get to just around 60, and then we'll do it again on Sunday, though Sunday will be a little bit more comfortable. We'll have some peaks of sunshine around as rain misses us to the south and to the north. And not only that, we have a cold front that comes through during the later part of the day, and that will not bring us any rain either. All right, let's talk about our coastal storms next week. This is storm number one. This one we know is going to bring rain and all rain to us here in South Jersey. Rain will be heavy at times, especially in Atlantic and Cape May counties. We are seeing up to an inch of rain in some spots as this moves through. It's almost a full day washout. Probably the early part of the day will be driest so. though. As we go into Tuesday, high pressure is in control. And this is important because this is going to funnel in some cold air here. And that is going to set the stage for what could be accumulating snow in South Jersey during the middle of next week. Now, most of this is going to be rain. I repeat, most will be rain. And you see the green here in this graphic from our friends at AccuWeather. However, the potential for snow will be there. Let me show you the Canadian model for the middle of next week. You have a stronger low pressure system than the American model that I'm going to show. So that means it can drag in some colder air. That being said, it's also very close to the coast and that also can bring in warmer air around the counterclockwise spinning low pressure system. We still have some cold air here though on this Canadian model. Now as we go to the American model, that system is further out to sea. That usually means it can draw in some colder air. However, it's also a weaker storm. You see that temperature gradient riding from west to east. That's a sign of a weaker storm here. So if we do get snow, it wouldn't be as much. It's pretty much boom or bust for snow. When it comes to the Canadian model, the GFS model is showing, hey, you're going to get snow, but it's not going to be a lot here. And still, remember, it's going to mostly be rain on that GFS model. Let's take a look at our storm checklist. So we are a little bit past the interested phase. Now we can answer if that storm is on or off. And the answer to that is yes, it is. We have a check box there for storm on or off. As we go into Sunday, we should have a good idea of at least the mix of what will fall. Will it be mostly rain? Will it be half and half? Will it be all rain or... Would it be mostly snow? That one's least likely at this point. Monday, we'll give you totals, timing, as well as coastal flooding. We'll tweak it for you on Tuesday. And as we go into Wednesday, we will have our storm. And there it is on our mainland seven-day forecast. Temperatures will be in the mid-40s, but that is very dependent on the track. It could be 10 degrees colder. It could be 10 degrees warmer. We'll stay in the 40s for right now. Let's flip over to the shore seven-day forecast. Let's take you after Wednesday here. Comfortably cool is what we'll call it in South Jersey, at least for December standards. Temperatures right around average, and we'll have a good amount of sunshine as well. We'll be keeping track of both coastal storms throughout the weekend. You can follow me on social media for the latest. And if you go to our website, depressiveac.com slash weather, you can subscribe to my newsletter, which brings you all this information into one nice spot in your inbox every morning.